In this video, I'm going to show you how you can render your blunt file with Blender Grid. So here I have the BMW demo file. And if you scroll down, we can upload our file here. So let's drag it in and it will start uploading. When the upload is done, it will take us to the projects page. And in order to try it and render, you don't need to sign up for an account. Um, so what happens now is we get the settings. So we can see it's an animation from one to 50. And if we want to change that, we can do that here. We can set it to one frame if you want, or keep it at animation. We can set the resolution and more. So because we are not logged in now, we have to enter our email address. Um, and this is so that we can send you an email in case you close the page and your render is done so you can download your frames. Let's do that. And the next step is to calculate the price of our project. This price calculation step might take 10 to 20 minutes, depending on your scene. Um, and if you want, you can close this page now, like it says here because we will use your email address to send you a link that gets you back to your projects. All right, the price is calculated and um, next step is to fill in our billing address and pay for the render. And um, when you do, it will start rendering. And as you can see, we have our progress and uh, a time remaining. And then when you hit the details, you can see all the rendered frames that have been rendered so far. And this will update automatically and you can uh, click one frame and see if it looks good and if it for some reason if it doesn't look good maybe you forgot to add a texture or something you can hit cancel and then you can cancel the rendering and then we give you a refund based on the progress so when you cancel at five percent for example we will refund 95 percent um, but if it's a uh, our mistake of course we will refund 100% of the money once the render hits 100% we take all your frames and put them in a zip file and then when it moves to finished you can uh, look at the details and download that final zip file with all your frames and that's how you use blender grid 